What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. That's right, go check out the website, TheHunterGT.com. Sorry for the wind noise, pretty windy today. Not sure if it's coming through, but it is quite windy. It's a little bit chilly. My spine's uh, compressing and releasing quite rapidly. Got some spasms going on, so I'm underdressed. I saw the weather forecast and the sun's out. It's supposed to be pretty warm today, but the morning uh, still has the nighttime bite to it right now so to speak so here we are back out at the old park you're thinking to yourself what more amphibio videos right no i'm going to be shoving those down your throat the reviews coming up plenty of hunt videos coming up plenty of settings and how to use videos after that some hidden quirks stuff like that so but today i grabbed the g2 plus from Technetics off the wall with that big old 13 inch coil from MGC Laboratory, the Magic 13 inch coil. God, I love the name of these coils. The Magic 13 for the Fisher F11, F22, F44. Fits all the Greek series from Technetics, the Alpha, Delta, Gamma, Omega with the screw in coil. And of course it fits the F19, the G2 Plus, the Eurotech Pro, a whole slew of 7.7 .7 and 19 kilohertz machines. So fantastic coil, lightweight, it is deep. It really adds some depth to the G2 Plus. I love this coil right here. So also have the F75, 5x8 coil coming up. You've seen the review, the review for this one. You've seen the review for the 5x8 on the Greek series platform and the G2 Plus here. So we will be moving to the F75 coil next. And uh, not next, I, I have some Amphibio stuff that I'll squeeze in there as well. But keep an eye out for that. I got tons of videos coming up with these Magic Coils, with the Amphibio, with the Gold Prospecting. It's it's all coming. Those That's like the big trifecta I'm going to be running here coming up. These Magic Coils, that Amphibio, and then some Gold Prospecting videos. Without further ado, shut your face, the Hunter GT. Go find some stuff. And I got a quarter signal here. 88, 89. About four inches. God, that speaker's loud. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let's find out. And sure enough, a States quarter, a modern one. It's pretty toasty too. The backside there is really pitted, man. I noticed the soil Whatever side's facing down usually looks all right. The back side's usually just crazy toasted from whatever uh, fertilizer they're using. It's just soaking down, sitting on top, and bubbling away. It's probably pretty good for our health. Metal detecting, playing in the grass, rolling around as a kid. Yeah, good times. Good times. So there was another quarter. So there's the first one. You can see the little plug at the end of my foot there. Um, did a pretty good job on it. And then there's the second one right there. Both of them at four or five inches. This one rang up as an 86. So I didn't put it on camera. I was like, oh, another quarter at first, but it kept ringing 86. And a quarter is usually 88, 89. So I was like, nah, that's a, a pop top or a crown cap or something. I'm gonna dig it anyways. It might be a quarter right next to it. But it was a couple IDs low. Why? Look at that lawnmower strike cut it you know what about a fourth of it off there on the side so yeah lawnmower strike and it brought the id down because it's either the flat edge or there's just not as much metal content for the detector to pick up so kind of neat i didn't record it because i didn't think it was a quarter actually but it surprised me it's not spendable i don't think the coin star will take it or a retailer will take it or whatever but there it is on to the next so I think I just found an old button. It was deep, man. This thing was like eight, nine inches. A really uh, strong zinc penny range signal. It's heavy too, so it's rounded on one side, flat on the bottom. It's got some green color to it here and there, like some green and some rust going on. So I think it's a myriad of metals. Looks like it might have a shank spot right there on the back. So, yeah. I think it was like a large button. It's heavy. To like a jacket maybe or something. A coat. I don't know. Who knows? On to the next. 
nickel signal. I just got it through my headphones. That speaker is crazy loud and there's people out here. 57, 58, pretty steady. One, two inches. Should be a nickel or a pull tab. And it was a nickel. 1988 being the year. Dime penny signal. Four inches. Strong 83. No waiver at all. Yep. Clad dime. Just like it said. Just like it said. Another nickel signal. 59. Pretty hard. 60 every once in a while. One inch. Let's see what we got. Well, this is why I dig shallow little one, two inch targets here at this park. 1918 Buffalo Nickel. Well, there it is. You can see the date bottom left. It might be a six. There's some flaking right next to it there that you can see. So it's either 1916 or 1918, but either way, over a hundred years old. There is the buffalo on the back, five cents on bottom. You can see in the United States. I'll go rinse it off when I get home, get rid of the dirt. Yeah, it has some bubbling on it, not the greatest of shape, but most of them are not for being a hundred years in the ground, even only an inch or two down. Good stuff. Pretty thrilled with that. Let's go find some more nickels. G2 Plus, man, you love nickels, baby. All right, got another shallow nickel signal. Now, I know what you guys think. Big 13-inch coil. Geez, Hunter, you should be digging these foot-deep targets or whatever. Well, not at this park. So, yeah, there are deep, super deep targets at this park. But as you just saw with that buffalo, with that last five, six silver dimes I found here, all of them one, two inches for the most part. So, I look at this coil also as a huge coverage bonus, not just for depth, but for coverage. I can cover twice as much area compared, you know, to a coil half the size or whatever. So, 5960, pretty tight. Two inches, pull tab or nickel. Let's find out. Well, they can't all be buffalo nickels at uh, one inch, can they? No, they sure can't. Pull tab. Pull tab. That's right, got another nickel off camera. Just dug this one. 1969. 1960. 1969. I can't tell if that's a zero or a nine. You can see it better with the camera. What is it? A 69 or a 60? I can't tell. It looks like a nine. So, older nickel. I'll take it. I will take it. Penny dime. Eighty-two, eighty-three. Two inches. Find out. Ooh, Corona. Corona Extra. Shallow dime. Eighty-two, eighty-three. One inch. Hmm. Wait, wait a minute. There's an 83 there. I'm getting the sight of a nickel signal there. I wonder if we have two targets. Something's pinpointing there. Hmm. Yeah, and over here too. I think there's two targets under the coil and they're pretty close, so having trouble. We'll see. We'll see. So look at that. That's really good. For, I mean, that's a big 13 inch round coil. And we got a clear ID on the dime. Look where the dime is. Perfectly right there. And that was a pull tab on that side. So if we look, it has graduations on the pointer. So we're at one, two, three inches 
apart basically so three inches apart and it separated them no problem with the 13 inch coil so it pinpointed this one when i went to pinpoint i saw a quick flash of a 59 59 in there i was like well wait a minute that might be a nickel and a dime then we we got the clear 83 no problem on the dime so and then when i went to pinpoint that it was uh shown and it actually masked that and gave me the 83. I was not getting the 59. I was only getting the 59 one way, and then I was getting the 83 both ways. Then when I went to pinpoint, that dominated. So kind of cool how that worked. That dominated the ID, that dominated the pinpoint. So got the treasure and the trash right there, three inches apart, good stuff. It is magic, baby. 85, 86. Too high for a dime penny, too low for a quarter. Might be a silver dime. We might have silver, but it's pinpointing kind of big, so I'm assuming it's a bottle cap. But I'm not getting any iron grunt on it. I have iron audio on at 13, so I'm getting, you can get that low grunt on it, but I'm not getting any. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Well, it wasn't a bottle cap or a coin, so who knows what the heck that is. It's got a couple little pin points on the side there for it to swivel, you know, so it's a bracket for, not a bracket, but like a cover maybe for something. I don't know. It's got a little indentation. Looks like it might have got hit with the mower maybe. I don't know. What could it be? All right, quarter signal. 88, 89, 90. Maybe about four inches. We'll see. Trash or treasure. Well, that'll fool ya. Into my last video with the Amphibio, I showed a flat washer. I said, that'll fool you every time. Well, so will these CR2032 thingamaboppers. Just dug another 58 solid, and it came up to be a 1982 clad nickel. Man, this thing's nickel hungry. It just eats them alive, the G2 Plus, man. It loves nickels. This magic coil. Mm -mm -mm. Lovely coil. All right, another shallow. 58. One inch. Well, let's find out. Yep, right there. About two inches down, actually. A clad. 74 nickel nickel after nickel man i wish they were all like that buff but what you gonna do i'll take nickels all day it means you're digging gold range it means you might get a v you might get a buff especially at this old park you never know